Hi everyone, it's Christina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. This is the place where we learn how to bake and cook together every week. So I've only come to tell you a bit about the strawberries covered in chocolate I made. Uh, the pictures of the strawberries are on my Instagram account, which is at Christina's Cuisine. Um, and I will take you to the process step by step. It's a very uh, easy process and you only need two ingredients. Um, and of course, uh, if you like what you see here today and you're not one of my subscribers yet, don't forget to subscribe and tap that little bell because that way you get notifications every time I put a video up. And also remember the website is live now, christinascuisine.com. So if you want to eat one of my sweets, uh, just DM me or send me an email and I'll be happy to, uh, to help. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, take care of yourselves. Go break on it. Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make some chocolate covered strawberries, yeah? So I melted a bit of um, white chocolate in here. Um, I'm going to try and dip it in all the way. I'm, just I'm using some popsicles um, sticks just because I wouldn't want to do this, so I'm doing it now. It's clear to but see. That won't work. Well, the small. Okay, here we go. We can and sit together. Get as much excess of the chocolate so as you can you off. And me. Yeah. We meant to be. Should be when it gets hard. You know, there should be still something left on your actual strawberry. Um, Valentine's Day, um, which is just now, but um, yeah, of course, make this and share it with your friends or your family or the one you love anytime uh, of the year. It doesn't have to be only on Valentine. Um, if you love strawberries and you love chocolate, like me, I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy this any time of the year. It doesn't have to be. Only Valentine, yeah. So, as you can see, my chocolate is getting cold, but it's fine because that way it will set quicker. Yeah. So let's try and do another one. So I don't have a lot of white chocolate left. So let's see if we can cover this one up as well, and then for the others, we're gonna. Go with the dark chocolate. Yeah. When this happens, just grab a little spatula and just see, just spread that chocolate on your strawberry. Yeah? There you go. This is how you normally make. Um, Mexicals or popsicles, same principle, dipping it into chocolate and then letting it set. So, not such a big deal. It is a, a bit of a messy procedure, but um, I'm sure you don't mind licking your fingers off with the lovely bits of chocolate left, would you?
I have some peanut in it. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm just going to put them in the peanut jar. Ah, oh my, these are going to be so, so yum. I cannot wait. Absolutely fine. In the fridge uh, until they set and then we decorate. Yeah, the word is cute. So I will take the, um, the sticks out um, once they are set completely. They're not completely set, but I can play with that um, raw icing that I told you I will play with. So, um, yeah, ready. Operation, so don't worry if you make a mess. Just drag it all down here, and then drag, drag, drag. Make a very, very tiny hole. From up here, that way, the world seems to have really, really nice and even.
up to a week after you made it if you keep it out and if you put it in the, in the fridge or in the freezer you can use it up to a month so I've made mine last week but I've been keeping it in the fridge and I'm going to use the rest for some shortbread or icing biscuits next week back in my fridge and use it again next week. Won't be probably enough but I can make some more. There we go. Ta -da. Ready. Now you let them set and then you can take the popsicles out. I'll show you um show the final presentation when they're all done. Thank you.